Prepare Mind 101 coverage of Blade Show 2017 brought to you by DLTTrading.com and in part by WoodsMonkey.com. See, that's the thing is, you know, you don't expect it. Godzilla just all of a sudden, he bends over and he shoots all these freaking lasers out of his back. Purple lasers. They're purple. That was incredible. Yeah, yeah it's not just fire anymore. I mean, you got to you gotta watch Shin Godzilla, right? Yeah, it makes you very scared. That movie made me scared of radiation. Uh, not just being a, a ridiculous Godzilla fan. But um, Shin Godzilla was pretty cool. Shin actually translates to truth, so they called it True Godzilla after the American Godzilla, which actually wasn't a bad movie either. Don't get me started. We'll be here for like two hours if we talk about Godzilla. I already dealt with him for two hours. <laughs> I ain't doing it anymore. <laughs> she, she's like, what is this is guy talk, you know, freaking Godzilla, you know. <laughs> what is this guy filming me? I'm going to film you filming me. Filming you. There you go. Hello. <laughs> Say hi. Hello. We're, doing, we're, we're, we're throwing in like a people or blade show video this year. Uh, that's exactly what I've been doing. Yeah. Oh. Steal my idea. Each idea. <laughs> Great minds think alike. I didn't steal his idea. So it's still day three, and like I said, today for me is not about the knives. It's about the people and showing everybody that's never been to Blade Show the part that you never hear about. Because all us freaking YouTubers ever talk about is what's coming out new from such and such a company. When there's all these freaking cool, badass people like this guy. You know, what we didn't talk about before was uh, your podcast. And I meant to talk to Jim when he was here, but he was like squirreling around. I, Jim, he, yeah. yeah, Jim Jim is like a greased up squirrel. And you try to grab him, and he just gets away from you. So maybe you can uh, tell people about the podcast. Absolutely. So, guys, I'm Matt Martin with Vehement Knives, and we're also representing Behind the Blade podcast. That is, I think at this point, the premier all knife industry related podcast where we cover everything from news history lessons tech tips we do q and a's from all our listeners which is a great segment jim and i like that a lot um we answer emails on the air and it's been growing consistently we've picked up quite a few sponsors and i cannot advise you enough to get involved with behind the blade podcast give your contribution back to the industry by asking us questions we'd be glad to help you guys out and then we will fill your heads with all kinds of arcane knowledge from history and how we do little things in the shop and so uh behind the blade podcast.com behind the blade podcast on facebook and instagram and i'm gonna hang out with chris for a little while and not be hung over with him oh my god it's like the, the noise curse follows me to freaking Blade Show, even. Freaking car alarm. Did you take your Advil today? Yeah, I took my Advil. So, it's uh. Hi, guys. It's me. It's Don't forget, I'm still here. It's all about me, Jesse, Prepared Mind 101. Um, this is my show now, and I'm taking over. Like hell. No, it's uh, smoke and vape break. Get the hell out of. Uh, we don't do that. Uh, no, you're right. We don't. That's that's bad, kids. Kids that watch. Don't vape. Go to college. Oh my God, I'm gonna break that freaking car. All right, doing something a little bit different this time. Uh, I've never done this before. It's like I talk to all these freaking cool ass people at Blade Show all the time, and I, I don't ever show it. So I found this one guy. Uh, he looks like he's been lost in the woods for like a really long time, and he just. He's got this like Tom Hanks castaway thing going on. So, how's it going, guys? So, I've got Larry the Man Roberts here, the guy that hates mice. Yes. We have an epic battle going on with mice for sure. I, just, I got a, I got a big bucket of, of uh, road bait in my garage. If you want some, it'll kill them really quick. Yeah, but final oh, blocks. The problem with the, the rodent bait though is then you can't eat them. See, that's the whole purpose of killing them. stamp on it on the other side. This is the 
knife I took out into Vancouver Island, survived 64 days with this knife. As far as I'm concerned, it's the best bushcraft knife I've ever used. I love this thing. Love it. He still likes the Jasmine, though. <laughs> I do like the Jasmine, but uh, hey, you know, the Genesis is a, you know an iconic uh, LT right knife, so yeah, it's you can't go wrong with an LT right knife to begin with. But just some of these other designs, I like your Jasmine. So, yeah, all sorts of good, fun stuff. And I'm really the only person that had the right to do a video here because I'm probably the only person that actually watched Shin Godzilla, which was the Condor homework. So, I did my homework, and then everyone else just walks up and does videos. Back lasers. Has she watched it yet? Have you watched Shin Godzilla, and if not, why? No, because I didn't know I was supposed to, but I will as soon as I get home. You haven't been around Joe very long, have you? I met him last year at my show. One word for you. Godzilla. Learn how to speak Godzilla, and you will have... I've seen the old ones. Did you like Godzilla versus King Kong? Because that one sucked. No, I don't like King Kong. You gotta admit the new one was pretty cool though, right? The new one was better. The new one was better. Yeah, 2020, uh, Kong versus Godzilla. No. Hell yes, I've done my homework. So, uh, so Jack here, he has got a flashlight coming out uh, with, uh, well now it's WoW Tac. Right? It was a, a Tactical, uh, which is the company that Through Knight created to destroy themselves with. They had the market cornered, and then they put out another line that cost half as much. And we are continuing with our coverage of Blade Show 2017. Not by showing you anything that you can buy, but showing you all the interesting people that are here. Looky here. That's an interesting person. It's Matt from Grizzly Outdoors Kydex. So, yay. We were just reliving the, uh, the Grizzly Kydex story, which a lot of you probably don't know. But I'm not going to tell it, but it involved me accidentally super gluing a $300 bark river into a grizzly sheath. And I had to attach it to a tree and hook it to a car. And it, it, was some, it was stupid, but I did get it out. I wouldn't do that with that. No. Because then you just break it. Just use an axe. <laughs> you got to swing an axe inside your shelter when the uh, roof is right there? I ain't going to swing an axe anytime. I'll baton all day long. take my knife and I put on an axe oh, handle. Oh yeah. Right. So that's what I think. <laughs> hey, hey, we got a clearing, Jesse. Swing it. What am I doing? Look at his shit. What's his name? He goes by Big Joe Honeycutt. Look at that shit. Is that for real? Great intro. <laughs> no, I don't really care about that. <laughs> So, Chris, are you having a good time this year? Yeah, it's better than last year. Because of the Mr. Microphone. It's practical and great fun for the whole family. And for only $12.88, they really make great Christmas gifts. You can actually hear people you freaking mean, talk. You mean the clown sound? Where's he at? Uh, <laughs> there it is. Look what I... Oh, oh. You gotta have that, because otherwise people slobber all over it. It goes like this. This is how you work it. Right? I guess. <laughs> Three, two, one. Hey! Chris from Prepared Mind 101, and I got this rare opportunity. With an opening in front of the Dark Timber table. So... <clears throat> A, I'm not used to holding a microphone, but I think I, I will <laughs> I'll do my best to try and get used to it. Hello. <laughs> this microphone is weird. Uh, the mic thing is something new. I'm trying this year to, to work a little better. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to... This MC mic checker yeah. so you can drop it. 
<laughs> I don't know how to do that. I, I, I can't beat. But he could probably do it. So, so what we're going to do is I'm going to give Joe the mic since you don't oh. give two craps what I say. You have to listen to me, me talk stupid stuff all the time. And then I'll just turn the, the camera around so we get a better video. All right? Wow, this feels really official. Breaking news. Breaking news at the Condor booth. We're here at Blade Show 2017. <laughs> And uh, Chris Sander has a new microphone that we get to play with. And if you uh, feel like you want to hang with the big dogs, join the Vehement Syndicate group. It's a pretty elite group on Facebook. And that's where we all get back slappy and have a good time and talk about knives and what's upcoming. So I appreciate the opportunity, Chris. And that is like probably the, the, the most badass name for a group, Vehement Syndicate. It's just like, don't fuck with us with a Vehement Syndicate. <laughs> what? No, I didn't take it off. I lost it. No, I, I, I haven't seen him since the other day. I got to find him. Hey, I noticed you really you do really, really well when you just unexpectedly have a camera thrown. Oh, thank you. What the hell is going on here? Hey, hey. Do, no, 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 no. This... We got the best of freaking both worlds here. We've got a leather ninja. Hello, what's up? And we have a Kydex ninja. What's up, YouTube? How what's you? up? So, so you're over here asking when they're going to make the Shedophile patches? Shedophile is the wrong company. That's Bastion. <laughs> this is Griffin Pocket Tool. It's the best damn multi-tool in the world. Okay. Get, them out. Get a sheath for them from me, Gary. Oh, I see. Yeah. Self promotion. Self -promotion. I'm, not, I'm not above that, though, so I'm okay Last with year, that. Chris came up to me and he threw a camera in my face, and I was all shy. This year, I'm not shy. Well, when you Griffin hang Pocket Tool. <laughs> that, that they're, they're like actually rebuilding it now, tearing the shed down, and I'm not even there to document it. It's like that's like one of the characters on my show is that effed up shed. This thing is just. A little weird. There's just so much technology in this year. The power of Christ compels you <laughs> away. <laughs> See? See? It works. It works. I got that St. Benedict medal in my pocket. Is that what it is? Freaking demonic fidget toys coming at you. <laughs> I mean, every time I come over, the, come over here, he's like sitting there, you know, talking to kids and yeah, yeah. Well, baton and stuff. And they're not fidgeting. Look, they're not fidgeting right now. They have a knife instead of the fidgeting. You better not be fidgeting if you got a knife. Yeah. Let's go to Valley Song. You have to fidget your freaking fingers off. Oh, he's actually really good at flipping. Yeah, I I always like going out in the uh, courtyard out there and and checking for blood puddles from those little fidget spinner Valley Song guys. Do they have, is that where they're having their, um, uh, their competitions yeah i i don't you come to is this freaking thing zoomed there so so like the biggest night no you can stay i mean people would rather look at you than us yeah <laughs> but uh they, you come to this big awesome knife show it's once a year and you're gonna stand out in the freaking parking lot and flip a, a knife around all the cool stuff is inside i don't understand it i see it every freaking year so my my speed force is rapidly wearing off, but luckily I did get uh, one of the people I was hunting for all this time, EJ Snyder. You don't really need the microphone with him because he's just that loud. But either way, how's the show been? Hey, what's going on, everybody? We're right here at the Tops booth, and guess what? Surprise! The SXB sold out on the first day. So if you missed out on this great price, go to TopsKnives.com. Tell them the Skull Crusher sent you, see if they can work you a deal. The show's going awesome. I think it is a record crowd this year. Tons of people. I mean, I can hardly walk through this place without bumping into somebody. A lot of great celebrity talent out here this year with the survivalists from Alone, Naked and Afraid, The Wheel. And let me tell you, we even had Forge and Fire out here. You guys weren't out here in Atlanta this year. You better put it on your calendar for next year because next year is going to be huge. I love all you people out there. I appreciate your support for me and everything I'm doing. Big things are happening. Everybody keeps asking me, hey, when are you going back out on Naked Afraid? Well, whenever they call me, I'll be out there tomorrow. 
And then I keep getting questions about, hey, dual survival, what's going on with it? Look, Discovery's got it on hold. It's all up to them, not me. We're waiting for answers, but don't you worry. The Skull Crusher's coming real soon. We got a lot in the works, survival training, books. My website's jamming. Shows are coming and you know it, yeah! Shows are coming and you know it, yeah! Scary shit, right? You should try, like, being actually here. Alright, so... I did what Matt said. I went over to check out this uh, magic miracle oil. So we're going to find out about it here now. All right. So this is like the, the mix master, the guy who came up with the secret formula. Uh, I, I don't usually run out of funny things to say, but I just like hit a hiccup right there. So how about I just shut up and you tell about this stuff. The Matt seems to like it. The Vulture oil, we came up with this extreme, it's extreme temperature oil. We call it liquid freakiness. So it's 100% synthetic. It's liquid down to negative 50. Smoke points over 500 degrees. Firearm safe, knife safe, plastic safe, paint safe. Non-toxic, food grade, no, no sense, no colorants. Um, I've been working with a couple oils in the shop now for many years. And in the knife industry, you know, you're always wiping your linen micarta down or whatever, and you're getting knives ready for production, and it just tore up my hand something fierce. Oh, you, you don't have to sell me. You had me at liquid freakiness, so. <laughs> this we, is have, a, we have a lot of fun with the naming of our th product. This is a man that understands marketing. Oh, I know exactly what we need to do. We need to go find uh, David from Ultimate Survival Tips. I have not hardly messed with him at all except for one photo bomb, and, and he just expects more of me, so... Got to go find him. Oh, so Pete is meeting the hometown homies. What's up, guys? What's up? Mike. So, Mike and Brian from River's Edge Cutlery. Oversized cutlery? River, River, River's Edge Cutlery. Oh, River's Edge. I thought he said oversized. I was like, that's, that's perfect for you. All right, so we're back at the Church of Kohler, and we've got all sorts of other cool stuff. The Church of Kohler means nothing right now because I'm trying to buy this Miller Brothers yeah. holder, which is the shit. Yeah. Oh, sorry about my language. I don't care. Okay. Yeah, you're used to Miller Brothers having, like, really like big thick stuff but i mean look at the look at the subtle lines of this very thin ve you know this very my whole thing with wanting this <laughs> let me back up because you're getting my beard only my whole thing with wanting this is actually in the locking system that they've got they've got i'm gonna let i'm gonna let him explain just because <laughs> he's gonna be better at um it. my brother tim designed this it uh it's got quarter inch sides, steel lock bar insert, and the locking mechanism he's talking about. It's got a pin here. You can lock the blade open. And also when you go and fold the knife, you can use the same hole, put in the pin, and it locks it closed. Here's, here's my thing with the Miller brothers. They understand that it's important if you want to be able to start a fire in your woods, in the woods, you can baton through a metal block. That's that's what, what needs to be able to be done. All right, it's day three. There is only a couple hours left, and I'm going around getting some more shots of some people in here. And I'm back at the TM Hunt booth with Rick Bain, Foxwalk Primitive. And he's got a model that he designed, and it may or may not end up being one. I think that it probably should be a model uh, just from handling it. So I'm going to let him tell you all about it. All right, uh, well, you'll have to excuse my voice because I've been screaming at the top of my lungs for the past couple days. And, uh, uh, but, uh, yeah, thank you, Chris, by the way, uh, for putting me on your video and uh, wanting to see the knife. That's my uh, take on the Kukri slash the WSK. That's where the influence came for this knife. I put a lot of thought into the handle and uh, just combined a lot of elements and into one of my favorite blade shapes, which is the Kukri. Uh, so there's, you see some ulu there, you see some working blade, uh, a tiny bit of draw knife in there, but the handle I'm, I'm pretty proud of. It's, it's worked in there real nice. This particular model is 5 16ths 01 uh, with a zero convex. Uh, when we do make some more, uh, because we'll make a, at least a couple more, 
but when we do we're going to cut it down to a quarter inch uh, thick O1 one that way it'll just cut better that way uh, this one is is on the half side it's good for the traditional kukri weapon but it is uh, a little bit too thick for a wood stool so we're going to take it down to a quarter inch other than that had a good show uh, the show uh, for us has been like kind of sporadic. Friday we had a great day. Saturday, half the day was a little slow. Uh, today we've uh, sold, I think, two already. Uh, so we're having a great time. We're having a really good show and meeting a lot of cool people. And, uh, we, we, I mean, we've done pretty good. We've sold a lot of knives. We sold every standard model M18 we brought in. Uh, and we still got the customs if anybody's into the higher end stuff. So uh, the, the reason that it was slow on Saturday be, was they don't actually publicize this, but Saturday is uh, old people that walk slow get in free day at Blade Show. So and, and also if you like to stand in the middle of the aisle and talk, uh, you get a discount. But that was yesterday, so I'm hoping we're going to have a lot better day today. All right, back to it. All right, I have completely depleted all stimulants in my body. It's the end of day three. I got to get to the airport. So, uh, Christian, prepare my 101. Another, uh, this ain't shot show, this is blade show. See, I told you about all that stuff's out. But My name is Peter Kohler. I work for SIG Armory. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> so, we're going to let Pete get the ceremonial mic drop. 